What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another video update. Today we are going to be updating our Luke Harper figure. Now this was, I believe, Elite Series 29 Luke Harper, which was a really good figure at the time I picked him up, but it is outdated. You can see how short his hair is. And I really wanted to update it with this new head that we got. I know they are making a new Luke Harper head, but I really wanted this one. I think this is probably the best one. I don't care much for the man bun. So what we're going to do is actually do a simple head swap. Now what we're going to do is heat up both of the heads with a hair dryer, and then we'll show off the results. So let's actually take a little break, and then we'll show off the progress as I go. So right now we do have the Elite 29 Luke Harper without his head, and it was actually a little harder to get off. I was actually expecting it to be easy, but it actually took a long time heating up the plastic just to make sure it heated up right here and down here just so you could fold it up and over. And then you also had to watch out for the hair. So if this was pretty, uh, I don't want to say hard, but it was. if it was a little challenging, I can only imagine what this one's going to be, seeing as how it has the much longer hair and the bushier beard. Uh, this is going to be one beautiful challenge. So let's actually take a little break, get this guy's head heated up, and then we'll continue the swap. And here we have Luke Harper with the final head swap. And I have to say, I'm overall pleased with the way it looks. Yeah, the hair does come off the body and it does look a little weird but if you put the vest on it's not going to look that bad and I'm really liking the way it came out. The hair doesn't get in the way of articulation. If anything he actually has better articulation now. He can look up a, subs a substantial distance. He can look down. He can tilt his head side to side and then he can turn his head left and right a full 360 if you really wanted to. So overall I'm pleased with this so let's actually get him on the stand and let's go to my final thoughts. So overall I'm actually really pleased with this fix up. I really wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did and I really do like the way he looks next to Eric Rowe and I'm surprised I didn't do that but I'm probably gonna put a pick up just so you guys can see what they look like together. Now if you are looking for this Luke Harper I don't remember how much the Elite 29 is going for and he did have another release I just don't remember what series it was, but he came with the two alligators, which I never understood. This is still my definitive Luke Harper that I'll go to, and he is one of my favorite wrestlers, so I'm really glad I was able to do this fix-up. But with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other updates and fix-ups, as well as all my other videos on my channel. Hopefully there's something you enjoy. As always, if there's something you would like to see me review or do on my channel, let me know down in the comments, and if I find the time or find space for it in my collection, I'll definitely take a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.